Hi, I am Dr. Vipul Kumar Gar. I am a qualified consultant and orthopedic surgeon. Today in my OPD, I have, we are seeing a patient of classical tendo Achilles tear on our clinical diagnosis. The first, uh, when the patient comes to our OPD, she complains of a snapping sound around the ankle while uh, arriving from the bus or getting down from the bus. Now I am demonstrating the two clinical tests. There are two clinical tests for tendo Achilles tear. One is Thompson test, one is Oberoi test. Now we are going to perform Thompson test, which is the major test. Every doctor, those who are dealing with tendo Achilles tear, should know this test. This is a very simple test. In this test, we have to lift both the legs, just some distance apart. And this is normal leg, and this is our injured leg. Now see the difference. If I am squeezing the calf, if I am squeezing the calf, the foot is moving. How frankly the foot is moving. But in this case, see. I am squeezing the calf and the foot is not moving. That means what? That means the connection of the muscle which is ultimately insert, generally inserted on calcaneum. We call that tendo Achilles. Ultimately tendo Achilles is a tendon but the muscle is the calf. Ultimately calf muscle uh, wind around the calcaneum in form of tendo Achilles. If there is a insertional breakage over the tendo Achilles after squeezing the calf also the movement is not happening. That means it is a complete tear. The calf is going going and complete cut up over here. So we are not giving the thrust to the calcaneum. So see the difference. It is a very simple test. See. And now see. There is no movement. Another test is overall test. Overall test is a little invasive test. Same like Thompson test. In overall test what do we do? In overall test we just have to put a needle, normal needle, 18 gauge, 20 gauge needle directly into tendo Achilles. You just insert the needle vertically and then squeeze it. Then you see when you are squeezing the needle also start moving in normal tendon. But in insertional uh, rupture, when you will poke the needle anywhere, either below or up, a tendon is slipped over here. So there, there, there is two parts, one is distal, one is proximal. You insert the tendon anywhere and squeeze, that will not move. That is called overall test. Because overall test needs a needle, a spirit cleaning and everything. And ultimately the goal is same. So we don't do overall very frequently. But Thompson is a very classical test. While we perform the surgery, uh, sometimes after surgery, immediate after surgery, when patient is under anesthesia, you do this test, you just, once you open it, you stitch it, then you squeeze the calf. The, uh, foot again start moving. At that time, during the operation, you know you have repaired complete it completely. Then you just stitch the skin. So at the time of operation also, we can diagnose how efficiently we have operated the patient. How you just open the skin, see the tendon rupture, just stitch it, then squeeze the calf. Once you stitch, the ankle start moving. The, at that point, you know you have to stitch it very completely. Then you just stitch the skin and close it. So it needs a surgery. And because it is a clinical diagnosis uh, scenario, generally we don't need X-ray, MRI, CT scan. But for medical legal purposes, how will you conclude in future? If patient will sue you in the court for something happened, mis mishap happened in future, for documentation purpose, you need an MRI report mentioning it is a tendo Achilles rupture. If uh, the patient is very poor and she cannot afford, and in our scenario, in our, uh, there is no MRI, so we don't need to do an MRI. I can directly operate this patient. So, uh, in my YouTube channel also, I have, upload, I have uploaded the surgery of the same tendo Achilles. My first YouTube video is tendo Achilles surgery, VY tendoplasty. You can